is BHD Army, it is your boy Blasphemous HD, and today we're here to watch a video called 10 Famous People Ruined by Drugs. It is no secret that drugs fuck you up. Me, myself, man, I've I tried weed one time when I was younger, man, and it just made me stup Ugh, it's a powerful one. Stupider, you know, it didn't do anything for me. You know what I mean? With that being said, I, I don't smoke, drink, or do shit, really. You know, I turn up. A lot of people have asked me if I do drugs because I get so turned up and so fucking silly, you know? And they're always weirded out when they find out that I don't do shit. But, I'd rather have that than, you know, spend most of my life in rehab and or sucking dick for coke. Uh, if you guys want to watch the original video, it is, of course, by the richest you know, make sure to click the link down below. It goes to their channel to watch this original video in its entirety. As you guys already know, we tend to chop parts out. So if you want to watch the whole thing, you got to go to the original video on the richest channel. Let go. Drug addiction represents a tough mountain for anyone to climb, including even the rich and the famous. Heath Ledger. Ooh, Few tragic Hollywood damn. tales loom as haunting as the death of Heath Ledger. Damn. A dedicated thespian and Academy Award nominee, Ledger had supposedly grown so wholly invested in his role as the Joker in The Dark Knight that he was unable to sleep and had developed a reliance on Ambien pills. Damn. On January 22, 2008, Ledger was found unresponsive in his Soho apartment with a toxicology report later confirming that he had accidentally overdosed on a lethal cocktail of prescription medication. Left behind by the 28-year-old was a chilling, iconic performance that earned him a post from his Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Yo, man, that freaking sucks, dude. I loved Heath Ledger. I even watched Brokeback Mountain in all of its horrifyingly scariness. There's something about two grown men in a tent sweating. But yeah, you know, um, I really did enjoy the Batman movie that luckily enough he had done enough work on for him to still be included in the movie. You know, it was so freaking well done. He got, ah, geez, man, that's it's just so well done of a freaking uh, performance that, damn, dude. It's crazy to think that someone could get so much into an acting character that they would develop the traits of that same character. That's crazy. That is talent. I can't, I don't think I could do that. Mindy McCready. Who the hell's this? Ironically, the tragic life of country singer Mindy McCready seems like he was pulled directly from the lyrics of a country song. The 10,000 Angels singer turned to drugs while involved in an abusive relationship with aspiring musician Billy McKnight and was later hospitalized following an overdose. Damn. Just suffering from depression, she would later lose custody of her children and attempt suicide on multiple occasions before doing so successfully on February 17th, 2013. Okay, this has become extremely dark. I did not know. I don't know why I didn't think 10 Famous People Ruined by Drugs would be dark and scary, but that that is that's really freaking sad, man. God, jeez, that's sad. Michael Jackson. Though better known for his questionable relationship with young children who visited his Neverland ranch. Nah, that's bullshit now. Huh? That is bullshit. I cannot act hypocritical, okay? I have made tons of of uh, questionable jokes about Michael Jackson. But it's jacked up though that he was that rich. But it is jacked up though that after his death, then all of those little sacks of shit, or mostly nearly all of them came forward and was like, oh yeah, he never touched me. I, we was just trying to get this money. Uh -huh, it's just a prank, bro. Uh, that's fucked up, man. Damn, dude. He, he made such awesome fucking music. The legendary king of pop, Michael Jackson, also put his body through years of prescription drug abuse. That drug abuse may help explain some instances of erratic behavior late in his life, including Jackson's decision to dangle nine-month-old son, Prince Michael II, over his Berlin hotel balcony while greeting fans in 2002. Ultimately, though, it would be his dependence on the anesthetic drug Propofol that would prove to be his undoing. Jackson was just days away from a scheduled tour in 2009 when he took a lethal dose of the powerful sleeping aid and never awoke. Lindsay Lohan. Damn. Starting in 2007, Lohan began demonstrating a troublesome pattern of wild child behavior that included multiple DUIs and a variety of other misdemeanors. She was basically spring break titties of early 2000s, you know, especially after Mean Girls. Now, her titties probably sag a lot lower than they should for her age. Drugs, man, you know, 
Saggy titty all day. Don't do it. Courtney Love. Every adult must be held accountable for their own actions, but it still remains awfully hard to place all the blame on Courtney Love for her problematic history with drugs. The lead singer of Hole was introduced to LSD by her father at the age of four. And when- What the fuck? Wait, what? Mother Bruh, Courtney Love was introduced to drugs at the age of four. LSD. Someone's dad gave their daughter LSD, man, at the age of four. What the frick? What the fuck? Love. Yeah, what the fuck? What type of bullshit? Four? What, 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 why though? What type of sick shit? To the very public suicide of then boyfriend Kurt Cobain, with her struggles with drugs being reported as one of his primary causes for self induced death. No wonder then that she would turn back to pills, cocaine, and anything else that she could find to help cope with Cobain's passing. That is, until she got clean, thanks to a pair of rehab stints in 2005 and 2006. That's Amanda what's up. Bynes. It's been a rough and rapid downward spiral for former Nickelodeon star Amanda Bynes ever since 2012. Yeah, not to mention this crazy bitch got those uh, China, the, the piercings. I can't stand that shit. It is not attractive. Shit. Some females need to understand the pussy don't need no help. This does not make you more attractive, getting... Stabbed in the cheeks, man. It just It's not. I don't know why China has that shit. Bitch look like a human fucking pin cushion out this bitch. In an effort to destroy evidence. Authorities forcing her to enter a UCLA psychiatric facility after she was caught starting a fire in the driveway of a stranger's house. Dennis Rodman. In 2011, Dennis Rodman was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame following a decorated career which included five NBA titles, two All-Star appearances, and a seven-year stretch in which he led the league in rebounding each season. That's what's up. However, that all takes a full backseat to the legacy oh, of eccentricity shit. that the worm has cultivated oh. through strange style choices, oh. bizarre behavior, and unpredictable what the fuck is that? that have included a friendship with North Korean leaders. Look, this nigga dresses like fucking Raven Simone's chicken hawk looking ass. The fuck is that? Leader, Kim Jong-un. Rodman's checkered history with drug abuse includes an alleged heroin overdose in 2012, a brief stint on celebrity rehab, and a mountainous debt brought on by unpaid child support. That'll do it. Misha Barton. Yep, child support will get you every time, man. You know, let any man will tell you, once they get your fucking social security number, nigga, it is through. It is over. You're gotten now. And then you're making a butt fucking money too? Yeah, they're going to rape you, man, monetarily anyway. On the hit teen drama The O.C., Misha Barton's Marissa Cooper struggled with drug and alcohol abuse before dying in a car crash at the end of season three. While Barton remains very much alive oh! in real life, lingering substance abuse problems have served as an example of life in- Oh, this bitch look like Jack Skellington off a of fucking A Nightmare Before Christmas! Oh! Face all sucked out and shit! Imitating art. Barton's drug-fueled rap sheet includes a DUI arrest in 2007 and a lawsuit filed by her former landlord for tens of thousands of dollars in unpaid rent. Fucking drugs. Charlie Sheen. Yep. I don't know why I didn't know Charlie Sheen would be on here. He's number one of drugs. I mean, to his own words, he's got tiger blood. Few celebrities have experienced a meltdown so dramatically public as the man who introduced the terms tiger blood and winning into the common vernacular. Charlie Sheen boasts a long checkered history of substance abuse and other indiscretions, but things went completely off the rails in 2011 when he was fired from the hit CBS sitcom Two and a Half Men. From there, amidst widespread rumors of rampant cocaine abuse, Sheen demonstrated some truly bizarre and off-kilter behavior. And HIV. He has that shit, man. That's sad right there, man. I wouldn't wish that shit on my worst enemy. Well, no, I don't even think I wish that on my worst enemy. No, just like lose a leg or something. You know, you, that shit grow back. You grow that back. Which resulted in a level of public fascination that led to a multi-city comedy tour and even the development of the FX sitcom Anger Management. Whitney. They didn't talk about the HIV? Well, damn. Houston. A tumultuous and abusive relationship with R&B singer Bobby Brown also introduced pop icon Whitney Houston to drugs. That's hella fucked up. Oh, damn. Whitney don't look good. Who's really fucked up is Bobby Brown is more known for beating females than he is for any of his music. <laughs> no? Okay. 
fuck y'all. A continuous problem that would ultimately lead to her drowning death in February of 2012. That's Speculation sad shit, that Houston's yo. drug use emerged in 2000 when airport security guards in Hawaii found marijuana stored in the luggage of both her and Brown. After exhibiting erratic behavior over the next few years, she responded to Diane Sawyer's questions about drug rumors by simply stating that crack was too cheap for her to bother with. Which bother might with. be the reasoning behind why she still had money uh, towards the end of her career. Drowning in the bathtub of her Beverly Hills hotel room after taking cocaine. Thanks for watching. Oh, what? That's jacked up, man. I, mm. Wait, what? Weird things people tried to smuggle. And you mean to tell me a, a chick had a gun in her vagina? Nigga, you lying. I'm gonna watch that next. <laughs> what? Um, mm, professionalism. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to check out the richest uh, top 10 channel. They are legitimately my favorite top 10 channel. Make sure to check them out. Subscribe if you want to watch this original video in its entirety on their channel as we tend to chop parts out. You know, so you want to watch the whole thing, you got to check out the channel. The link is in the description down below. You know, uh, watch a lot of their other videos. They're all freaking well done. Yeah, man. Um, Twizzles.